And do a mother daughter Q and A. She goofy, so she laughed throughout this whole thing. Y'all yeah, know why, okay? So we have just, I only have a few questions. It's like 10 questions, maybe. So you ask me, you gotta answer these questions for me, then I gotta answer, I gotta answer a question for you, okay? Okay. So you ask me, who is my best friend? Didi. Didi. Good job. Now I gotta say, who's your best friend? Is it Alana? Girl, you better pick one. I can't. Amaya. Alana. It, uh, guess, You're making it difficult. I guess Amaya. Gosh. I can't. Who is my, who are my enemies? Do I have any enemies? I don't know. It's a yes or a no. Do I have any enemies? Yes. Who? No. Right. <laughs> you don't have no enemies either, so. Well. Who your enemy? Besides Skyler. Benji. Skyler. Oh, Skyler. Okay. He's going to curse for me for no reason. Okay. What is my favorite music? Gospel. What is your favorite music? Country? Not really. It doesn't matter. Her favorite Skyler. artist is Aurora. I know that much. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't listen to like Stevie that much. Oh, okay. What is my biggest complaint about my family? About this family? I don't... They talk too much. Wow. <laughs> they too loud. I can't agree with that. <laughs> I don't know who I get it from, though. What is your biggest complaint about this family? I get angry. Well, what, 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 what makes you angry? We record every five minutes. Huh? We record every five minutes. Yeah, I call her every five minutes. Cause okay, so when I was younger, my mama used to be like Rika, and she was like, "Come and give me that remote." And the remote be like, "Uh, reach away," or she'll call me and be like, "Come and turn the light on." She she did stuff like that. So now I do it to them. <laughs> just for fun. And they, they know it's just for fun. It's just, I don't know. It's something about it that just makes it funny. If if I could buy you anything in the world, what would your number one choice be? A fox. I, I was just about to say <laughs> that. What what do you think mine, mine would be? More nail stuff. She already knows. <laughs> More nail stuff. I'm addicted <laughs> to doing nails at the moment, y'all. Like, if y'all saw this area over here behind me, it's nothing but nail stuff. <laughs> um, What is your favorite? You don't watch TV. Wait, what's eating? Yeah, she watched YouTube a lot. And I think you like Alpha Mile. No, that's CJ. Wait, no? Excuse me. You like Alpha Mile then, right? Yeah. I love TV, but and she like uh what's that boy name? Uh who G T DJ Oh no. FG T V? No. The other dude, the goofy dude, who do all like the the crazy stuff. TJ Sofa? No. What up guys? It's your boy D D Tay. She uh, loved D Tay. <laughs> She will sit and watch D-Tay uh, compilations all day. Literally all day. Mm -hmm. No breaks or nothing. All day. Who, is, I mean, what is my favorite TV show? Because I don't really watch TV either. Gospel songs? <laughs> scary videos. Gospel. Scary videos. I like um, haunted stuff. Scary stuff. That's, that's my thing. Um... What accomplishment of mine are you the proudest of? <laughs> what have I done that makes you proud of me? Being yourself. 
being myself. Well, do I not act like myself? Sometimes? I don't know. <laughs> Accomplishment of hers that I'm proud of is she have grown up. Well, not grown up, but she have grown into a beautiful young lady. She have her times where she's angry or she's upset quite a bit. But other, if you look past that, she's actually pretty sweet and nice. It's just sometimes people catch her on the wrong day. That, that's all. Okay, what are the similarities between... Well, this is a question for me. What are the similarities between me and her when I was a child? Your heart. Our angriness. <laughs> when, when I was younger, I had a problem with anger. And... It used to get me into quite a bit of trouble, like a lot of trouble. And sometimes I have been slapped in the mouth. Um, I've been beaten with cards, you know, but it taught me to be a better person. And it was like, if you don't do this, then this won't happen, you know? So I, I learned. I learned, and that's basically similarities between me and her. <gasps> did I have a best friend when I was a kid? Yes, I did. Um, her name was Carmelita, and this was before Dee Dee. And the funny thing about me and Carmelita is that we looked, like, exactly alike. It was weird. My mom and her mom used to get us mixed up with each other all the time. And it was it was a funny trick we used to play on them. <laughs> it's like, I'll go to her house, we'll switch clothes, and <laughs> we'll be like, well, now, which one is who? And they really could almost never tell who was who. So, that was one of my best friends as a kid. What's your favorite memory of us? <laughs> what? I said he... Oh. Girl... <clears throat> I heard a cat. Um, <clears throat> Do you have one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? One of my favorite memories of us is when one day I was cooking in the kitchen and she not the type to, like, really, really want to cook. So, for her to come in the kitchen, I was like, Mama, can I help? That became a great memory for me because she sat there and cooked that whole meal with me. And deep within, I was like, oh, my daughter learned, trying to learn how to cook now. You know, it it's a memory that will always be with me because I never thought that she would willingly want to learn how to cook what were you like as a kid even though you're still a kid um, still not talking to my friend on the back of this neighborhood we haven't called each other or talk so okay so she said not spending time with her friends in the neighborhood. Mainly, they're homeschooled. And it's not like I really wanted to homeschool them. With the whole pandemic and stuff going on, I decided to, you know, I'm just going to homeschool my kids. Because they are learning more homeschool than they did when they was in school. Am I correct or am I wrong? And it's like, I didn't like how the school system only talked about black history one month out the whole year or focused on it one month out the whole year. And I was like, you know what? Well, my kids, they gonna learn African-American history the whole year. So not only are they learning about the other things that happened in history, but we are focusing also on African-American history. So they know where they came from and the stuff that, the African Americans went through, you know, in time. Girl, you're not supposed to be playing with the cat. You can't help it. 
Okay. What's the time that you felt worried or afraid for me? When I had to go to the hospital. When I had to go to the hospital. A time I felt worried and afraid for you. I know we on camera, but it was the first time that you wasn't with me. The first, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so the first time that she left my side, I was very worried for her. Because I'm like, she's always been with me her whole life. And for this to be the first time she goes spend a night over somebody's house or the first time that she left me to go spend time with somebody else, that made me worried. Very, very worried. Because I didn't know what was going to happen. You you know how, how us mothers are. <laughs> we worry sometimes for nothing. But that that's kind of how it was for me. I was I was I was distraught and I didn't know what to think. So yeah, we got six more questions. You asked me, are you really proud of me, and why? Yes, because you give me better than I do now. <laughs> And the question is, am I proud of you? Yes, I'm proud of you because you're working harder in school to comprehend and understand the things that I'm teaching you. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> Did I turn out the way you thought I would as your mom? Yeah. How did you think I was going to be? No. Did you think I was going to be mean? Yeah. Or strict? Strict. You thought I was going to be strict? Yeah. <laughs> And yes, she turned out the way, kind of the way I thought. I thought she was going to be like a girly girl who liked getting her hair done, nails done, toes done. I could dress her up with this pink outfit on her bows in her head. Like, I thought she was going to be that, that kind of girl. But my daughter's a tom girl. I mean, a tomboy. I was <laughs> a tom girl. <laughs> She's a tomboy just like I was in school. But she's coming around. She not get to the point where she want her hair done and the bows and stuff like that. But she let me do her her nails. And that's fine with me. Um, huh? What? Other than getting the black, right. Because she said she wanted to be goth. And I said, you can be goth when you turn 18. Yes, 18. Um, what, what would you want me to do differently as your parent? Nothing differently. No. As my daughter, I would want you to be less angry. And I want you to be able to come and talk to me about the things that's going on with you rather than holding it in. Yeah. That's the kind of parent I want to be. So you and your brother. I want y'all to be able to come to me and talk to me and not fear um, the fact that I might get angry. I don't, I don't want y'all to have to worry about that. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not their friend, but as a parent, I want them to be able to have that relationship with me to where they're not afraid to come and talk to me. Um, how long did it take me to lose the baby weight with this one? With this one, <laughs> I only gained like 15 pounds with her. And that 15 pounds came off after I had her. So, I had her, I was 130, and by the time I, it was time for me to have her, I was 145. When I had her, five of those pounds went away because she was five pounds, eight ounces. So, five of those 15 pounds went away. And then, um, later on down the line, I think it took me like a month or two to lose that baby weight. But with her brother, I lost that weight in four months. Because for one, I was in the hospital for four months because I ended up with sepsis. And so I shed it all that weight. Plus some. And when I went in, I was 160 something. When I came out, I was 117. And I ended up gaining all that weight back, plus some from just eating regular foods. And one more thing. What is the one thing you wish you could have done but never did? 
Our light is just... What? You saw that? Did y'all see that? That was weird. The one thing... The one thing I wish I could have done, but never did, is have more children. I wish I could have had more kids. But after having our son... Um, they took everything because it was um, infected. That's one thing. Okay. Yes, yeah, so what's one thing you wish you could have done but never did? So far. Um, Get a fox. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this girl want a fox so bad. And I, and, um, I want CJ to stop bothering me all the time. <laughs> when it never happened. Okay. So, I hope this helped you all get to know her a little bit better. Kind of, y'all haven't seen her in the video since the My Daughter Does My Makeup video. And, um, I hope this uh, helped you all get to know me a little bit better. Although, I just did a QA and a in the video before this one. This is also the makeup look I did in that video. So, I did two videos in one day. Um, anything else you would like to say? Not on my phone. Either uh, as you want to say. Um, no. No. <laughs> well, let's say this together. Thank you all for watching this video. See you tomorrow. See you later. <laughs> Bye.